Hi. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my Schitt's Creek Minecraft world. Today we're going to be uh, taking a look at a couple more buildings. If you haven't seen my other other videos uh, before, I have several videos where we look at the an overview of the whole town that I've built. And then individual videos where I look at the motel, um, the Rose Apothecary, uh, Town Hall, Bob's Garage, Cafe Tropical, um, as well as places like Patrick's Apartment, the cottage that Patrick and David buy, all those. So be sure and check those out if you haven't already. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of um, minor locations, ones that don't play as big a role in some of the seasons, but are still important aspects of the show. We're going to take a look at the Amish farm, where David finds himself at the beginning of season two. And then we'll also be taking a look at the town of Elmdale, where we have um, several locations that we'll, we'll see when we get there uh, that are also important to the show. So we're here in the town center right now. There's Rosa Pothecary, uh, Cafe Tropical, Bob's Garage. And we're going to go ahead and head out this way. Some of the directions uh, I have to just guess based on little clues in the show. There's Ray's house uh, and things like that because there's not an overview map. So I had to kind of just make it up. But here we go. We have a sign, Elmdale, 30 miles. A little arrow. And if you're wondering why I'm carrying a sword in my hand, it's because in Minecraft... Um, in the creative mode, just touching a block can destroy it. Uh, however, with a sword, a sword only does damage um, on hostile mobs and things like that. So I won't accidentally knock down part of a building if I bump into it while holding a sword. It's not because I'm particularly aggressive or anything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on towards Elmdale. And here we come to an ice cream truck. After they rescue David from the Amish farm, they stop and get an ice cream. So there's a little ice cream truck. And then up this road, this is where we're going to head. And right up here, we come to the farm. And oh, look at that. There's David out in the field with his pitchfork. There's a bug on your dress. Couldn't put a bug on the dress, but. There we have it. And then we've got some little uh, farm animals in a little paddock. And over here is the house. And there we have a young lady on the porch churning butter. She's holding a bucket of milk. She's gonna turn to butter. And then the turkey dinner or chicken dinner, whichever it was, um, that Johnny wanted to share, but obviously did not end up sharing it. And there we go. I do um, use pictures and videos of the buildings as I'm creating them, so they're as accurate as Minecraft will let me make. The backside, you never get to see, so I just filled it in, and then there's a little door access for me to get inside to adjust things as needed. Windows. This is the barn built out of weathered wood. And there you have it. The Amish farm. And we do have, I'm going to walk a little bit, sorry if my footsteps are too loud, but there is a uh, beehive, so there are some bugs. Bye. Okay, we'll head back out to the main road and amongst these trees and flying so that you don't have to listen to me walking. And that's where we came from, town center. We're going to keep heading this way. And we'll come right over here. Here we are. Welcome to Emdale. Elmdale. All right. 
All of the buildings, again, are built as accurately as possible. I, I pull up pictures and video frames, stills. So all of these buildings are actually accurate to the show. I had to imagine what kind of businesses they might be. That's a store store. And that's a business business. And over here, shop here. All right, when we get to the center of town, we come to the blouse barn, or blouse barn, as Wendy calls it. So let's go ahead and go inside. Come in, we're open. That is an accurate sign from the show. Go right inside, and this is, of course, after David takes over and begins to change the uh, show. And then Wendy's sad little signs, sale, 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 because they are going out of business. You can see. Mannequins all dressed in black and white. And then there is a giant ostrich in the show for some reason. Obviously there's not an ostrich in Minecraft, so we used a dragon. There we go, there's the blouse barn. It's got a couple of mannequins behind the counter. Some fitting rooms. Let's see if we can get back here safely. Back office. Wendy spends a lot of time on the phone. All the shelving. And then back here the racks. Sale racks and some more fitting rooms. So there's the clothes barn. All right, back outside. The building across the street is accurate, as well as that one. And then we just head up the road a little bit in Elmdale, and we come to Elmdale, Elmdale College, established in 1978. And this, of course, is where Alexis goes to get her degree in pubic relations. Here's the parking lot across the street. So let's go ahead and go inside. She parks over here and she crosses. And let's head right inside. And there is a sign. I don't know if anyone's caught it while they watch the show, but the sign inside does say orientation down the hallway. So we'll go ahead and head down the hallway and yet another sign, orientation. Right into this room where she learns that in fact she does not have to attend classes in person. She can do it all online. Welcome to Elmdale. And then there's just some extra rooms up this way. Head through here. Into just a vast open space that I just had to make up because you never actually see the classrooms. And there we have it. And then Elmdale just goes off into the distance. So there we have it, the Amish farm and Elmdale. And we'll head back to the center of town now. This is a constant work in progress. I'm continually adding new buildings, new details. Every time I watch the show, I catch something else that I should add, some little detail like the orientation sign. 
And uh, so I hope you'll come back and check out my new videos. Check out the old ones. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to be on the list to know when new ones come out. And thanks for visiting. I will see you all later. Bye.